Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm your host D-Day bringing you Let's Play Brass 1.16. This series will have two playlists, one edited and one unedited. So make sure you're in the right one before you thumbs up. Also be sure to subscribe for more modded Minecraft and if you're ready, then let's play with D-Day. Hello and welcome to the stream. I'm your host D-Day, bringing you more Let's Play Brass 1.16. So today what I have planned is we're going to continue on a little bit with Create. Uh, I did get super lucky and let me see which button was it? Here we go. There we go. I enchanted one of my bronze paxels with Silk Touch. So I ran to the nether and I silk touch, let's see, Crimson Nilium and Warped Nilium. I went ahead and I grabbed these two uh, specifically for Warped Fungus and Crimson Fungus. So with these guys, we're going to be able to automate wood. And let's see, which ones can we get rid of for right now? I would say we're good on kelp and sugarcane for right now. So let's switch these guys out. Oh cool, you get the bucket back. That's where my bucket disappeared, I found out. There we go, let's get rid of these two. And we can put these up over here. This will be our food. Hmm, let's put it over here. Since this is sugarcane and kelp, it's not really food. We can ditch that and then let's see. I want to try something out. Uh, the crimson fungus and the warped fungus. They both make a bunch of different things. So I don't think I need any more Crimson Fungus or Nether Wart block. The Crimson Stem is what we want. This is the wood. And maybe Shroom Light, I'm not sure. But mainly the wood. So what I'm going to do for right now, I'm, I'm curious. I want to see if this works. It probably does. I'm going to make two single spot chests. Or single drawers. And what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to lock them with wood. So this wood. And then did I? Yeah, I did grab warp stem. Cool. And then here's that uh, sand back from the sugarcane and kelp. Okay. Put that up. I'm, I'm glad I got that water bucket back. That was kind of driving me crazy. I was like, where did it go? Okay. So right here, let's go ahead and drop these two these two and then we can lock and quantify 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 lock lock okay and let me make sure I put the right one in the right one okay crimson nilium the fungus and the wood there we go and it is growing a little bit slow I like that it's red on the inside and we can do the same with this guy here warped 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 and I believe that should work even though it has four different products uh, when it pops it should keep going like it won't stall and it will only fill in the wood because I don't need the other ones that takes care of all of our wood that we're gonna need unless of course if uh, in the future this is patched out because this kind of does feel like we're going against pack progression so just in case this gets uh, patched out in the future, what I'm going to make today is the create tree farm, which uh, I feel like the beginning of the pack is supposed to be uh, create followed by immersive engineering. So I'm preemptively doing this one. I goofed around a lot and uh, I did make a tree farm from create my personal design that I think is better uh, without being arrogant I think it's just better and more efficient than what I've seen everybody seems to copy each other so I want to show you guys how to make a tree farm all we need is one deployer we need two mechanical saws and it's going to only be in one horizontal plane so let's go ahead the first thing that we need is a mechanical bearing so we're going to make this. We need andesite casing, shaft. Let's see. We should have... 
Let's grab everything. Oh no, we don't need the rotation speed controller and a side alloy. Polish rose quartz. We have brass sheet. Let's see. All right, let's see. Mechanical bearing. We need a turntable, which is a slab and a shaft. Did I put my slabs over here? Yep. I did find out when I put the gearbox on the end, it ended up making this guy spin in the opposite direction, so I had to turn it around. Okay, so let's go turntable. Okay, and then we need the mechanical bearing. That's the first thing that we need. Then we also need one deployer, which the deployer requires a brass hand, which requires brass sheets. And let's see, we need another electron tube, so a redstone torch and a nugget. Let's grab a nugget. Zinc nugget, zinc, zinc. There it is, there's our iron. And we need redstone. Did I move the redstone? No, I didn't. Redstone, there we go. We need a stick. Okay, where'd you go? Deployer, electron tube. Redstone torch, electron tube, deployer, there we go, one deployer, and we're going to need two mechanical saws, so six iron sheets, let's see, I think I'm still running, yeah, I'm still running the 20 that we made when I demonstrated the, uh, the depot, so mechanical saw, what am I missing, andesite? An andesite casing and a missing wood. All right, wood and andesite casing. One more saw. Cool. And yeah, cool. I'm gonna use these three andesite casings uh, for the middle. You can use anything, but I want it to look like it belongs uh, to create the mod. So I'm gonna use andesite casings. So we have a mechanical bearing we need this radial chassis all right we only need one but it makes three okay so we need that and let's grab a slime ball just in case i don't think we need it since it's all in one horizontal plane uh we do need let's grab oak a stack of oak and we need two chests that's where our stuff's going to go and also, okay, we need one hopper, okay, and what else do we need? We could use another two chests. So let's go ahead and make one more chest. And for that, what I'm going to do is offhand this guy. Four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. And four more. All right, it looks like the season just changed because the screen went haywire for a second. We need two of these portable storage interfaces that can talk to each other. Oh, cool. So we need two brass casings, which I think we have. We need two andesite funnels. So we need dried kelp, and that comes, of course, from smelting kelp. Uh, I have one in here. I'll grab that. And let's grab seven more. There we go. So we can be, no, I need eight, eight. And then one, two, three, four, I'm gonna test something. Okay, so we need eight in here. That'll make dried kelp, we can eat it too. I wanted to see, can I do, yeah, I can do this. <laughs> I can put it on the campfire. I was curious to see if that would work. All right, so I, we can also eat this as part of Spice of Life. Two, I think we need four in total for, no, it makes two, awesome. So let's go ahead and keep on trucking. Let's go to andesite funnel and then the two brass casings that we have, cool. And that is, I believe that's all we need. Let me go ahead, I believe that was the noon alarm. So let's go ahead and head out. Oh yeah, I went ahead and I, I built this. As you can see with the date stamp at the bottom, it's been a little bit. I've been a couple of days since I've turned the pack on. I've explored a lot too. Uh, I've expanded here and then I don't want the tree farm to be here. 
Let's go ahead and put the tree farm on this wall over here. Ugh, Plague Doctor. Bye. All right, let's go ahead. I wanna put the tree farm over here. So let's cut this out. Ooh, efficiency. Efficiency four. There we go. Whoops, whoops. Nice, love it. Except for the uh, shredding of the ground here. All right, let's see. Put that out, this out. Don't wanna waste my time with the knife right now. Just wanna get the grass to go away. I know I could dump water, but this is just, just as good, right? All right, let's see. What can I ditch into? Let's just ditch this real quick. This, this, that, this. Make some room so we don't end up with spillage. Okay, I don't need the gear. All right, so we're going to put down this uh, this homeboy now. Whoa, did it do two in one click? Scary. What I did realize is I do need a power source, so I need to make an encased fan for this. So let me run back real quick, make one encased fan. Bloop. Okay, let's see. So I'm gonna need, let's see. I'm gonna need a magma block, and I need an encased fan, and I need a lever. Okay, so what am I missing for the encased fan? A propeller and four sheets. Oh, there's our kelp. <laughs> four sheets, we got three. There's our fourth one. Put this guy here. And we need Cogwheels, and a side casing, and shaft. Okay. Propeller. Let's see, did I put any of the small gears in here? Am I really out of small gears? Crazy. Okay. So we need some buttons. Let's grab some of these dudes. Turn them into buttons. And then... Let's go encased fan, cogwheel, eight of these, and encased fan. There we go. And we're gonna need one lever. So let's go you, and like so for the lever. We don't need to make this one fancy because it's gonna go underground. Okay, so let's go around to where we were and put this guy down. Let's go. Okay, so here, let's see. Magma block, encased fan and lever. Magma block and shift jump boop. Okay, lever. And then we can put the mechanical bearing no, we gotta do, we gotta go down one more. There we go. Okay. Magma block, encased fan, lever. We have a mechanical bearing. Oops, shift clicking does it upside down. So just regular right click, okay? And then a radial chassis. Now if we click this guy, it turns. Perfect. Okay, and it does turn counterclockwise. So we're going to do andesite casing. Oh, I want one more andesite casing. You can use any block, but let's see. Can I make an andesite casing from here? And what am I missing? Wood, bummer. Let's go, one piece of wood. And like I said, you can use any uh, block. I want to use andesite casings because they kind of look cool. Oop, that's the creeper alarm. Yep, so let's sleep. And let me drop off the keys. I just realized the keys are on my 
hot bar. And keys. I should make another door on the other side. Okay. Okay, so like I said, you can use any uh, any block for this. And I'm not 100% sure if you have to sticky it, but since it doesn't make the slime ball go away, it doesn't matter. I want to use three andesite casing, just because I want it to look like the create mod. You can use any three blocks. This guy goes counterclockwise. So we're going to put a saw here and a saw here. We are going to put the deployer here. We're going to put the chest here and here. And then we're going to give the hand right here a filter. And we're going to put the stack inside its hand right there. All right. And this guy should start turning. So to get rid of the items on the end, we're going to put shift boop this guy. Okay. And then let's see. Uh, this guy, when you right click the bearing, it will turn and the hand will point and it will make this cool design. It's not gonna be, uh, it's, it's symmetrical. That's what's important to me. It's not gonna be a square, but it does place a bunch of saplings. The saw will cut, uh, since we have two, the saw will cut all of them. And that's really all you need. You need one deployer, two saws, uh, an internal storage for right now. And then we can pick a direction. So let's go here. I like this side here. So let's see where the deployer goes. The deployer takes up this block. Okay, so it can reach one to two blocks. So since it takes up this block, it can reach over this one or over two. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go hopper, shift boop, into two chests for right now. All right. And on top of this guy, let me not get cut by the saw. We're gonna shift boop here. And now when it comes around, each time it does one turn, it's going to smooch this guy and pass off the items. Smooch. And let's see, did it have anything? It didn't have anything, so the stack of uh, saplings is still inside the internal buffer of this guy while it's turning. As soon as one tree grows, it'll cut it down and it'll, uh, it'll have an inventory. So let's put that one up. I mean like a dirt block and then let's put a dirt block here. Awesome. And then what we could do is we could make enough rich soil to uh, cover all of the spots where it decided to place a sapling. So what is that? One, two, three, four, five. Oops. One, two, three, four, five, and then six, seven. So it's a seven by seven, and instead of the corner, it goes in one. That's the way this guy points. I'd like a tree to grow. I don't really want to waste some bone meal, but I guess I can go grab some bone meal. Watch. By the time I go get bone meal, it'll grow a tree and it'll have inventory. I should just be patient, right? So let's see. I did uh, harvest a bunch of bone blocks from the nether. That's wool. There's bone blocks. Let's just grab two and break it down. All right. And I should just Kool-Aid man through the wall, right? Okay, let's see. Yeah, it cut down a tree while we were gone. I knew I just needed to be patient. Okay. So it does come around and it will chop down all the trees. And loop. 
Cuts down the tree. It cuts down all the trees and it replants that spot, of course. Whoops. And then when it smooches over here, whoop, it'll drop off the item. So there we go. We're getting oak logs. We're getting oak saplings. I believe we're going to get sticks and we're going to get apples as well. So that is my simplest version. Really, it is the simplest version of a tree farm. Uh, I have already tested this setup. I left it on overnight on a uh, on my practice world. And the biggest problem that this guy runs into is as soon as this chest is full and this hopper is full, it will just start dropping the items in the world. So it causes a, a pretty bad, pretty bad lag problem. Uh, so I'm thinking like we could uh, hopper this into a storage uh, drawer controller, which is attached to a bunch of drawers that have void upgrades. That'd be a great way to uh, make this work uh, so that there's no uh, entity lag when everything gets dropped out. But uh, really, I'm probably going to turn this guy off because we're going to get enough wood from the hopper botany pots. We can just use the warped or the crimson uh, to go straight to planks. We don't even need to run it through the mechanical saw. And that will take care of all of our wood that we need. Because uh, this isn't an expert pack. It does have uh, gated recipes, but it's not an expert pack. So we're not working towards an ME system and auto crafting with 10,000 pieces of wood. I don't see that happening at all. So I could just turn this guy off. Let's see. I kind of want to free up the space a little bit because it looks kind of gross with all this grass in the way. We're overflowing on tatami mats, so I'm not really that worried about. Uh, What's it called? Getting straw. Smooch. Yeah, apples, sticks, oak saplings, oak logs. Okay, I'm gonna let this guy run for right now. Let's see what other uh, shenanigans we could get into. I'm glad, I thought I left the door open. So let's see what we can do now that we got tree farms down. Okay. Slime ball, let's get rid of this stuff. We have dried kelp we can eat now. Okay. We don't need this. I guess buttons we can put in here and the side casing. Radial chassis. There we go. And let's see. Boop, boop. I don't need that. And I tend to turn all of these guys into dye before I get rid of them. There we go. Okay. Let's throw away the dirt. And we'll go into the trash can and make garbage for us. Okay, let's see. So that was the... I don't need the saw, the mechanical bearing, deployer, increased fan. There we go. Let's do this we can make the coffee machine. I wanted to see what the difference is between the coffee machine and the deluxe coffee machine. Let's do that. We needed brass for this, believe it or not. Okay, furnace. Do we need a furnace for the other guy as well? We need a furnace and a cauldron. So let's see, we need a total of eight brass. Bloop, and two iron, four iron, two redstone. Let's grab that. And let's put the redstone. And we need a water bucket, which we got back. We need a cauldron. All right, and let's see. Bronze. We need two bronze and some cobble. Boop, boop. And shift boop. Two furnace. We got a coffee machine 
and a deluxe coffee machine. I, I want to see what the difference is between these two because I'm not sure if uh, the deluxe coffee machine is just better than the regular coffee machine. There we go, coffee break. So let's see, where should we put this? These silly, silly things. Over here, I guess. Coffee machine and deluxe coffee machine. Nice. No idea how this works. Okay, deluxe coffee machine has a UI. That's already better. <laughs> okay, so we can select, I guess. Oh, look at this. Ingredients. Whoa. Milk, sugar. Is that cocoa beans? Are those snowballs? And that's caramel, right? Okay, so let's see. Coffee machine. All right, I did farm a lot of coffee seeds. So let's get these guys going, All right? Baked potatoes, caramel. Caramel is sugar, okay. So let's go ahead and grab this guy and a shift stack. All right, sugar. There we go. Let me get rid of this bell. All right, so let's do half sugar to caramel. We have sugar now. Can I do shift click? No. Okay. 20 sugar. We need milk. Cocoa beans we don't have. I don't think we have snowballs. Where did it get the 10 buckets of water though? Let's see. Is it 10? Okay. It's 10 per water bucket. Cool. So we need milk. We need sugar. We can do that. We got caramel going. So we could, I, I'm hoping that the milk will be, let's go, we're gonna sleep and then we're gonna run to the cows real quick to grab some milk. Let's go. Oh, is that snow? Um, the Paxel does count as a shovel. Booyah, snow. Whoops. Good luck, huh? We got some snow. I think... Let's see. 10 pieces of snow should be good. Maybe we need 20. This pack still is too good. It's kind of annoying that it shreds around so easy. I'm not a fan. Oop. Even took the dolomite out in one one click. I'm gonna grab this first before okay sixteen before it thaws because I think it's Dunsies. Let's go. Milk. And I can just grab straight up milk. Let's see. Oh, you can't put milk in here, for real? All right, be like that. We can head back. We just need, what, four more pieces of snow? We can grab on the way back. Man, okay. 16. Oh, it stacks of 16, okay, I forgot. That's enough snow. We got that covered. We got, I believe we can't get cocoa beans unless we go to a jungle, right? Jungles are kind of tough. Oh wait, yeah, the jungle was uh, 4,000 blocks away because we wanted to go find the, uh, whatchamacallit, bamboo. Oh, it's, there's the snowballs. Okay, okay, good. Okay, it's only two. So we're missing caramel, cocoa beans, caramel, roasted coffee, there we 
we go, 20. It's too bad. Okay. The completionist in me wants cocoa beans. Let's see. Cocoa beans, cocoa bean sack. Yeah. Yeah, they're probably just straight up. They come off of a jungle tree. All right. And let's see, can we just select? Okay, 2020, there it goes, it's green espresso. Wow, whoa, okay. So let's go espresso. Nice, it dings too. I was super quiet because uh, I heard it was making noise and I didn't want to talk while it was making noise. That ding is just awesome. Okay, so, oh cool, it's only one. A latte? <laughs> too funny, this is too funny. Oh, and it doesn't count as not eaten. Not eaten yet, I thought the the coffees were all going to be Oh, that's too bad. But it's still fun, right? <laughs> nice. Frappe, latte, espresso. Nice. I wonder, like, this one doesn't have a GUI, so that means we might have to give it manually? Caramel Macchiato, that's actually one of my favorites. Mocha, oh, there we go. Mocha we can't, because we need cocoa beans. Oh, we can't make cocoa drink either, so that's probably a hot chocolate. We can't make that either. Does the button do anything? <laughs> so we have these. I'm super curious, though, like... Do I have to manually do it? Or is it... I, I highly doubt that this thing is just for looks. Maybe, I'm not sure. I didn't look up how to make, how to use the coffee machine. I was assuming both of them were gonna have a GUI. Shame, shame, but looks cool. And I'm pretty sure like they should make the same stuff, right? One's manual and one is just easier to... <laughs> nice. Okay, cool. So we did uh, the coffee machines. I like that. I am entertained. What else can we... I need to keep this milk just in case we ever get poisoned, right? Tree bark. Let's get rid of this stuff. It's not supposed to be in here. Yeah, and, and while exploring, I took out a lot. Yeah. Chickens, uh, piggies, sheep, and cows. Took a lot. I took out a lot of them so that I could take care of uh, the different kinds of foods that are not eaten yet. Caramel. All right. We are unfortunately running out of room. I know baked potatoes, we can make a, yeah. Potato pancake. Okay, that one's not eaten yet. Let's see, let's ditch this, this. A bunch of buckets, wrench, the goggles. Poppies, baked potato. Oop. There we go. Are you serious, guy? Get out of here. Get out of here. You should have known better than that. Oh, speaking of level 31, let's see what we can get on the boat. The bow says this item's enchantability is increased by six. So let's see what's up. Unbreaking three, power two. I guess, I mean, unbreaking on a bow doesn't really matter, right? I've had bad luck with these level three enchants not giving me multiple enchants. 
There we go. Thank you. What is common? Power three and breaking is fine. Fly, flame is fine. I don't know if I'm going to burn down my house with this thing. Well, I'll be careful. All right, let's see what we can get rid of. Red dye, snowballs. Now we have a bunch of random stuff. Sugar, roasted coffee. All right, we have enough tree bark. Don't need this, we don't need the baked potatoes, we don't need the dirt. The coffee beans I did go out of my way to farm. Got a lot of books. Let's see, this musket is still bad. I guess I can put the musket and the cartridges in my inventory. No, redstone. Which, right? What here is, I don't need the rice. I don't need the hemp seeds. Where did, did I have regular seeds in here? I'm blind right now, there we go. I don't need that. All right, we have an entire bin full of this stuff. Oh, let me get rid of that. There we go. Okay, we're doing great actually. Compacting drawer, centrifuge. Let me get rid of some stuff. I know next next time we're going to make the windmill and I'm super stoked because uh, I'm planning on making a uh, a vertical access uh, windmill not a horizontal one like everyone else I'm gonna make a vertical one and it's gonna be pretty epic and just in case like I checked the patch notes they changed the uh, recipe for the engineer's hammer to be clusters i think but i can't get the pack to you update something about overwolf overwolf won't uh won't let me update any packs man so we need a millstone i want to make this millstone just in case they patch because you know i did the tree farm just in case they patch uh, so i might as well make this millstone for the same reason, any forged stone. Abro, right? Yeah. Just in case they patch, or the game, the pack gets patched to where uh, you have to use the millstone first. Uh, just plugging it right here to the next to the mechanical mixer, since the gears match, this should make it make it work already. So we could do a chest and a hopper to make it a little bit more convenient for us let's go chest and we need to make a hopper and we don't have any there we go oh yeah i need one of these guys here on my hot bar because we're kind of playing vanilla right there we go all right, let's see, is my, it's, it was reloaded. Like, there's no way to test if it's loaded. All right. So we need two, three, four, five, right? Five for a hopper. And just hopper. Let's drop off the andesite casing. And it should work like this. Loop like that. And of course, I back up through my campfire. All right, let's see. Oh yeah, I moved all of my ore over here into the other brick chest. Let's see which one should we just. We're just gonna test it out, right? Make some clusters. I guess osmium. It doesn't really matter. I'm being picky and choosy. Copper ore. Let's see, copper ore through the grindstone. Crushing has, it makes more. See, it just makes one. Let me just test some iron. It doesn't really matter. Let's do f eight pieces of iron to get a move on, right? 
And then we could put a hopper on top. Because uh, if you don't use a hopper, you gotta throw it in. Eight. Bloop. I wonder if I could backboard it off of the stressometer. This guy should be grinding it down. There, it's all done. Because uh, this doesn't really matter. Unless, yeah, the crushed iron ore still needs to go through the blast furnace. So you can't skip the blast furnace. And, oops, it, uh, I pulled it back out. If you right click, it pulls it out. But you can't right click it back in. So let's see if I can backboard this. Oh, nice. Okay, so that worked. You can backboard it. But it won't double. It just turns the ore into a crushed iron ore. And the crushed iron ore still needs to be run through the blast furnace, so you're not doing anything. I guess you could skip to millstone and then go to, go to washing to with the encased fan, but uh, it would just make more sense to go with the crushing wheel to get more clusters and wash them. So, But I think the updated engineer's hammer requires these clusters now. Which still, you'd, you'd still go with the crushing wheel uh, before you make the hammer. Because I know it was patched out. Yeah, you can't make dust with the hammer anymore. You can make it with washed. Oh, any... No, ingot zinc. Aluminum. Gold makes sheets, so you can't pulverize it. It needs to be washed first. So still, it's still progression. You still have to... Uh, wash your ores. Like, you can't skip the chopping block yet. You still need to use the chopping block to make bronze. How are we over here? 38 and 34. Cool. And these guys, we don't even need to run through the saw. Oop, crimson chest. Those are these guys. Crimson chest. And these guys, crimson chests, uh, I don't want to waste the inventory spot since it won't stack with anything, so let's turn it into a hopper. Chests are chests. There we go. Nice. So now we have the millstone down too. Don't know if it's required, honestly. And I don't know if I want to put a hopper on top, because that'll just make this look a little weird. It's already kind of pushing it with the hopper and the chest under it. I still like it the way it looks right now. Let's see. Midnight. Creeper alarm already went off. Let's see, where are we at? We got rid of the millstone. Yeah, we're caught up again, guys. <laughs> I'm, I'm burning through this stuff. Next up is going to be the uh, the windmill. We'll make the vertical axis uh, wind turbine. And it's going to be pretty sweet. And then we're going to hook that up to the crushing wheels and a an encased fan to be able to wash the oars. And then... Uh, with the washing, with the crushing and the washing, we can go, and the mechanical crafter, we can make, we can open up the gate for immersive engineering and start making steel. Let's see, let's sleep and check on the farm real quick. The tree farm, and see if uh, everything's still running. <laughs> These uh, coffee machines for a second they looked like there was a plague doctor inside. I'm already freaking out about these plague doctors. There's just too many of them. All right, so let's see. How are you doing over here? Boop. Smooch. Yep. See, we're not, don't even have to do that much. Saplings can be turned into sticks, but doing good. 
like I said, we could add uh, rich soil. So what is that? One, two, three, four, five. Fünf, zehn, zwanzig, vier und zwanzig. So let's make 24 rich soil just for the fun of it. We can also decorate it uh, so it isn't just sitting on grass. Let's go. We need bone meal. We need. Wow, bone blocks are a lot of bone blocks. We need straw, we need dirt, and we need tree bark. There we go. And let's see, I'm pretty sure the, the makes nine. Oh, really? You can't run it through a millstone. I was really expecting the bone block to be able to be run through a millstone. Really? Okay. What ups? There we go. And dirt. Okay, so organic compost. That is not how you spell it. Okay. 27. Let's just make 27, right? There we go. Can I turn these back? Whoops. Can I turn these back? Okay, good. It's like, why did I do that? Okay. Consolidation. This, this, this. Why did I run out of room? Because it doesn't go in this one. Ah, okay. So it's going to take a while. We need to drop the organic compost in. Uh, I guess we don't really need to. We have, what, 14 minutes left in the stream tonight? I'm just going to leave it AFK. Let's go ahead and just replace these guys. Let's see. Oh, we can't, oh, I guess it doesn't really matter. Can't put saplings on top of organic compost, but this stuff will turn into uh, rich soil with time. Like you don't have to put it into the water. The water just makes it go faster. Wow, that's all. Gotta be careful. like we are coming on to winter so let's go ahead and put some torches down torches for symmetry all right i guess the middle we can pop it it's pushing that sapling around like that The snow is going to land on the, the path, isn't it? No, the torch is going to take care of it. OK. And torches can't be placed down on, yeah. Can't be placed down on, let's do this. There we go. That looks nice. I guess we can do four pieces of. Let's see, four pieces of wood, maybe? This organic compost, we can put this into bloop, 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 there we go. Okay, now I'm holding all of the oak saplings that were supposed to be used. I guess... Let's go. Barrel? No, no barrels. That would look weird. 
What would look cool on the corners? Trim light. I'm, I think these guys make light, right? Use lanterns. Shroom light stem. We got four, and that would free up a slot. Let me check F7, and let's put down a shroom light, because I'm not sure they make light, yeah. Cool. Let's do, oops. Like that, it kind of looks like the organic compost, but uh, it's gonna change. It's not gonna look like that. like that better than torches and that means yeah all of the trees are gonna have light even when it's dark let's see I guess there's no point in topping them off because this guy can cut down even big trees and I think the shroom light dude I think the shroom light will take care of snow cool this guy's already slowly turning into rich soil. Oh, I can see the grass under the hopper. No, not gonna let me. Nope, okay, that's fine. Let's see, we got four. Hmm. It's gonna be easier for me to get a cool screenshot from the roof. All right. Looks kind of funky. Mooch, I wish it would line up. Let's see, can I get uh, not in the saw? Get a good screenshot. All right, that'll probably be good. Getting good screenshots for the thumbnails is pretty hard. I wish these guys would turn into rich soil faster for you guys, but I can't force it. I'll probably just babysit this, eat dinner, sit here and just AFK, let this guy run on peaceful, and uh, whatchamacallit, as soon as it turns into rich soil, I'll just put down the saplings that I have in my inventory. But other than that, we are caught up on everything, even the extra stuff that I wanted to do for right now. Yeah. Windmill, crushing wheels, washing, blast brick, steel. Uh, and then with the steel, we can start making, uh, we can go into bees. And then we can go hunt bees and make the apiaries and start working on honeycombs. Uh, for all of our resources and that'll be if we can breed copper and uh, tin bees When we centrifuge them, we'll be able to mix it into bronze. So we'll take care of that and then after we do that We can get uh, Crushers going squeezers going arc furnace That'll get us dural and we can go steel age and then dural. I'm not sure what the dural age 
is going to be called because I haven't made it that far in, in the practice world yet. But we're burning through this pack. I think, uh, let's see, let's check the quest book. The quest book. Yeah, we only have three ages left. Next one is going to be steel, and then dural is probably going to be one, and then whatever the last one is, probably, uh, I'm not even sure if this pack has advanced rocketry in it or not. Ages, space age is usually what packs that do ages go with advanced rocketry. And that's our timer. Alrighty, on the dot. I'm really happy. I'm glad this thing's worked. This is kind of the optional episode, you know, I, but I wanted to get my my design of the Create Tree Farm. This is super basic. I wanted to get my design out there on the internet as soon as possible. Uh, part of me wants to be able to say, like, I thought of this and not have some random person tell me I just copied someone else. So with that, Thank you so much for joining me today on the stream. Uh, be sure to hit follow and notify on twitch.tv slash ddanicus. The link is in the banner on YouTube if you click in the top corner. Also the link to the Discord if you want to chat with everybody. And uh, with that, uh, thank you so much for joining and have a good night. Thank you so much for joining me today. Smash like if you feel like I earned it, and click on my dude here to subscribe for more modded Minecraft every Sunday at 11 a.m. But be sure to yell boom really loud when you do, loud enough to scare me in Texas. <laughs>